Hi, uh, so this lesson is going to be on a John Fahey song off of uh, Dance of Death and other plantation favorites called How Long. And um, it's an open G tuning. So, uh, sorry. Um, my guitar should be pretty much in tune, but open G, I'll have it in the info section below. It's just. Um, D, G, D, G, B, D. Alright, and pretty much to summarize, there are about two sections in this song. Um, I'll go through the first one right now, and then the second one uh, a while from now. So, uh, I'll go through it once, and then we'll figure it out. showing you how it goes, that should be good enough. Um, the way it starts is just up on the 12th fret up here, and it is, uh, you'll just want to just bar maybe with your third finger um, across the top three strings on that 12th fret, because those will be the three notes that you'll be using initially. Um, and on the treble side it just is like this. And so the first sweep that I use with my that I do with my first finger is just across the B and G strings and then the just the G string individually. And then same thing. And I repeat. And then now it's a little different. You'll be hitting you'll be sweeping across the, the top string. And maybe catching a bit of that B string. And then down to the G string, to the B string. So, and then the, the whole thing together is. And then you'll kind of be going down to the 10th fret and it's playing very similarly. Except when it kind of goes to the higher note, um, rather than hitting the top E string, what you do is actually hit the 12th fret of the B string. So it goes... And then back to the 12th fret. And then down. I hope that was clear enough. Um, uh, if not, maybe just rewind and look at my fingers and where they're going. But along with all of this, you'll be hitting a uh, uh, bass line, monotone bass line on the, on the A string. Excuse me. And you'll kind of be playing it like a shuffle, like. challenging but it's about kind of realizing that you know the there's that entry bass note dun, dun, 
and then kind of matching that up over time, you know, combining the treble parts slowly. Maybe at first just going one, going with a simpler bass line. And then adding in that fancier embellishment, I guess you could say maybe. Anyhow, you'll be coming down for the four chord with this bar, maybe with your first finger, that's just, I think what I do. So the things that do stay the same are the bass line, it's still on that A string, except it's caught with that bar, so you're hitting the root four. And then on the top treble strings, it's just sweep across the top uh, a couple strings, and then just the B string individually, and repeat that a couple times, pretty much. And then once you're done with that, he kind of brings it down, that pattern down one string. So you sweep across the B string and G string and then hit the G string um, individually. So first we've got... And then move down the string. And then what you'll want to do is, for one hit, go down a fret. Pluck across the B and the B string and maybe the G string too. So and then after that you'll be hitting open. So all together. And then come down the fret with the root. Once you get into the open strings, um, up till that point you'll have been kind of leading, I guess you could say, with the B string. Um, but now you'll be coming back up to the top string to lead. You'll notice how the fourth fret of the B kind of leads into the um, top string open. For this, like I like to just, if I can, just use one finger um, on the treble side, just because the sound is, for me, a more consistent sound and it's easier to manage. But if you want to do what uh, Fahey does and kind of like fan out, I guess, um, in one video he calls it rolling. <laughs> to uh, grab the treble strings. It's not something I can do cl that cleanly myself, but the idea is that you kind of, well, yeah, like he says, kind of roll through them. So the top two strings. And for that, you'll just be kind of hitting those Top two strings open, and then hammering into doing the same pluck on the right side with your right hand, but then on with your left hand hammering into the second fret of the top string. If that makes sense. So, so. Coming down, your root note, this is the first time it changes, and the only time actually, 
you'll be going down to the bottom string. And then, this is a very common uh, five chord in, um, I guess you could call it American primitive. Um, or black folk music or whatever. It's second fret of the G string, first fret of the B string, and then open E string. descending bass line. On the D string, 3rd fret, 2nd fret, 1st fret open. And then all through that, to kind of embellish it, he sweeps across the top 3 strings open. Might be a word to call it. 
um, he'll play like uh, something a little bit different and do some do this. And this is that different section that I was talking about. similar and in fact that last bit is the exact same as the other section that we were just discussing. Um, but it's a little different initially and when he gets into the four chord. Those are the two parts that would distinguish it, um, I guess. So then to start off. He does something like that, which on the treble side is a double stop. Um, second fret of the B string and third fret of the top E string. And then he'll just kind of strum through that. And then resolve it by moving his uh, second fret of the B string up to the third fret of that B string. So you get both notes on the third fret. So you'll see my fingers just doing it here. Change again, and it'll just cycle through that a bunch of times, and um, all the while, kind of a bass line on that one note of the A string. should be more detailed though about this because after he plucks that he'll pluck them individually B string to the uh, top E string like that and then make the change Same kind of thing as before, where it's like you lead with the top string, kind of like that. Top string, B string, then back to the top string. And then you, this is where it's a bit different again, uh, with maybe your pinky finger, go up to the 8th fret. gonna say it's kind of like um, well it's like a lot of songs I guess but Robert Johnson uses this uh in this case so fit he just goes like um, actually not like that sorry get up to that pinky finger. Kind of the same thing, I think, where he goes like, leads with that top string, maybe gets a bit of that B string, B string, then again.
I should mention that whole rolling thing, we're done with the lesson pretty much, but uh, he does kind of roll through this part too. Um, um, he'll say roll through that. Do stuff like that. I don't really do it because like I mentioned before, um, you know, you lose the ability to get that fatter sound, maybe, but um, convenience trumps for me a lot of times, and just being able to use that one finger is nice, but I just wanted to let you know that it's certainly available for you if you want to also roll through that. Um, sorry for a bit of the uncleanliness playing-wise, um, it's kind of early in the morning, but I think you pretty much got the gist, hopefully. It's a beautiful song, it's a bit depressing and sad, but it's still fun to play. Um, if you've got any questions, let me know. Uh, as you know, I always try and get to them in spurts once I get the time. But I always read the comments and appreciate any sort of feedback that you guys provide. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this lesson. Thanks for watching.